Welcome to my channel IT Smart Training. Today we are going to learn advanced settings configuration in Webujo end user control panel. If you if this video is informative, please like the video and subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get more updated. Let's start the lab. So under advanced settings, you can first option is update apps suppose you have a multiple apps if you uh, install in the webuzo control panel so if any apps are app backdated so you can uh, click update uh, and it will update immediately so right now we don't have any apps to uh, update so that's why this uh, option is uh, empty this is a very useful things in webuzo control panel then next edit settings in edit settings you can uh, add a backup path from here you can set a wordpress site themes you can set a domain alphabetically suppose you have a uh, 1000 domains is under uh, this webuzo control panel so you can start uh, short it alphabetically customize your theme as well as a backup you can set the backup location from here you can set your backup it is FTP FTPS SFTP or Dropbox or Google Drive wherever uh, you can uh, save this uh, a, a very useful things the Dropbox and the Google Drive is there you can set your Google Drive backup also here attach your Google Drive and the all backup will store in the Google Drive this is also a cool thing in Webuzo control panel. Next, you have to set cron job, means it's scheduling. You can set a task to schedule. Suppose a certain time, a certain time interval, uh, or a hour, or a weekly, or a monthly, or a daily, uh, you can run a command automatically. next PHP extensions there are a lot of PHP extensions that are added here so if, if you uh, if you don't need any uh, PHP extensions from the list you just untick on it that PHP extension will not work okay so you cannot add any external PHP uh, extensions from here so if you want to add any external PHP extensions so you have to buy the license from Webuzo you need to premium license to do that next is default apps suppose in your environment there have multiple web server with Apache nginx or whatever you can set which in which one is a default app that app will works from all so you can set the default app from here you can set also the default PHP version is also here if you have a multiple PHP versions, you can set which one is a default PHP version. You can set here. Next option is service. In the WebUzo control panel, there is a multiple services running Apache, MySQL, Pure, FTPD, Bind, Exim, Dovecote the multiple services are running you can see that multiple services are running but uh, some service uh, are stopped suppose you don't need the Apache service right now just click on it the service is stopped successfully just refresh it you can see that it will automatically start it because this is the default service suppose you have a multiple services there so you don't need that service so you have to uh, check it here to def uh, uh, stop the service from here you can click here to detail apache server status you can detail you can check the detailing you can check the info of apache server just go back to home so I just describe all of these uh, applications which is under advanced settings. If this video is informative, please like the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.